Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the uh, review for this uh, soundbar from JBL and this is sort of a budget oriented uh, soundbar uh, that I actually purchased from Amazon and I purchased it on the Amazon uh, sale so I got it for 8,000 rupees but regular price is around 9,100 to 9,200 and uh, this is a basic sound bar you don't even get a dedicated subwoofer with the same and uh, again you use sound bars to enhance the audio that you get from your television uh, let's get it right guys even if you have an expensive uh, television the sound that you get from the speakers of the television is pretty tinny so you can easily enhance that using this soundbar so i just got this and i've also ordered some other soundbars also uh, so let's check this out and see if this is any good or not so this is all uh, what you get in the box actually let me show you individually what you get obviously this is the soundbar i'll show you that uh, a bit later in detail uh, we also get an optical cable and this might be useful actually if uh, your tv is not the latest one and it doesn't support uh, hdmi arc i'll talk about it later and we also get some screws uh, you can actually mount uh, this one these are the mounting brackets if you want to mount it on the wall you'll be using that and uh, the supplied screws we also get the 3.5 mm cable if you have a very old television which just has a what do you say a headphone out you can use this one to connect also obviously uh, we also get the remote i'll show you the remote later and we get the power brick and the cable which will connect and a bunch of uh, three manuals also with the same again it's pretty easy to install and this uh, shows you how to actually do it. I'll show you uh, that, all of that. So this is what we get in the box. Now, let me actually show you the remote. And if you look at the remote again, yes, it's functional. It has a lot of buttons as you can see, uh, but the build quality is actually pretty flimsy, I would say. Uh, so just be careful. Uh, the good thing is that you don't have to rem uh, use the remote all the time. Once you set up all the stuff, you don't have to use it uh, because the unit actually remembers what settings you have done. So this is the actual soundbar and in terms of uh, length, it is just two feet as you can see. And in terms of height, it's about 2.5 inches. And on the top, we have some physical controllers like a power on off button, volume up and down and for source. But don't worry, uh, you can actually use the supplied remote controller to do everything. I'll show you that later. And all the connectors are actually at the back. And this is for the power, this is for the optical end. And uh, this is for the 3.5 mm uh, jack if you have a very old television or you can even connect your, what do you say, uh, smartphones with this. And this is the USB port so you can even play stuff using the USB drive. And uh, this is for HDMI and it supports R. And if you have a modern television, actually you should use this. I'm actually uh, using it with this one, but again, I'll show you with another television also that doesn't support HDMI R. And for that, we'll be using optical. So these are the connectors and it is also Bluetooth enabled. So you can pair it with your, what do you say, smartphone uh, with Bluetooth connectivity that is also available. So guys, this is my old uh, Samsung 46 inch television. And yes, it has HDMI ports, but it doesn't have an ARC port. So to connect to that, you have to use the optical cable that is supplied. And uh, yeah, so you should use this one. And uh, first preference is always the HDMI ARC, uh, if you have that. And the second option would be this. The last option would be the headphone jack. And I would strongly suggest not to use that because uh, uh, the Dolby uh, effects and stuff, you won't get that if you're using it. So I connected this uh, soundbar to my new QLED uh, Samsung 65 inch uh, television which supports HDMI ARC. So I've connected the soundbar and uh, if you notice I'm using the TV's remote and I'm able to control the volume of the soundbar. As you can see it says receiver because I've connected it with the HDMI ARC. So I don't have to use the remote controller. I can control the audio by this. So that's the advantage. And if you notice this, uh, this denotes the volume level. It will go off after some time, but when you use it, so it's on two right now. And with the remote, if you want to change the modes, you can use that. And uh, it's the sound mode. That's the thing that is most important. If you press it once, it's, as you can see, three bars. Right now it's in the music mode. When you press once more, it goes into voice. And there is also one more. By first, the first mode is standard mode. By default, it will be on that. But the best setting that I got was uh, from this one. This is the movie mode. So that's really impressive. And uh, you can also adjust the bass uh, with the remote. So that is the thing that you can do. And we also have a surround mode. And I noticed that the surround mode works really well 
uh, on the second movie mode so it gives a very spatial uh, sound to it and uh, moving to the soundbar actually it has uh, three uh, speakers on this end, three over there. So two are sort of the subwoofers and two are tweeters. So that's what it is. And I'm going to increase the volume now. So here is the soundtrack again uh, this is a Dolby Atmos soundtrack obviously the soundbar doesn't support Atmos but it uh, supports basic Dolby decoding so let's try to play this and see how well it does. <laughs> So that was the functionality of the soundbar but let's now talk about how was the actual sound quality of the soundbar and to be very frank when I got the soundbar uh, I thought it was very small it's just two feet in size not a, a large size soundbar so I was very skeptical before setting it up but once I set it up I have to say in terms of clarity, the clarity is there on this. The dialogues uh, are very clear. Uh, I've watched it about three movies with this, um, a lot of music, YouTube music that I played with it and some even soundtracks that I played. And uh, I was impressed with the sound quality. I would say in terms of sound, the best sound output I got was in the movie mode and you have to enable the surround option. And if you do that, you get a spatial sound. Again, yes, it's not uh, what do you say, a 5.1 or a 7.1. Again, you don't get that in this budget uh, I would say it was giving me a sound output like a three three uh, channel audio for example the center audio the dialogue was very clear it used to look like it's coming from the speaker and I used could easily actually also separate the left channel and the right channel uh, using the surround mode so in that aspect it did a good job and in terms of clarity it was very clear that is very important in a soundbar so in that respect it did a very good job even the highs and the treble notes were fine and even yes it did have a little bit of base I would say uh, and it was sufficient uh, base but again if you are expecting uh, what do you say room shattering base or something like that then you will not get with this one for that you have to get sound bars that have dedicated subwoofers uh, this one does not have any subwoofer and the sad thing is that uh, it doesn't even have an output for a sub if you have an external sub you can't connect to this one so this is the sound bar that you get so this is what you get uh, but overall i would say if you're looking for a very compact size sound bar and you don't need a, a external subwoofer or you don't have a space for an external subwoofer uh, then you can go with this but again if you are a very bass you like the bass very heavy bass and you want that earth shattering uh, effects then you won't get with this one but in terms of clarity it was very good i would say i like the fact that it does support our and it works actually and it's also very compact uh, uh, but again i don't like the fact that uh, uh, the remote uh, controller that you get with this one is actually pretty flimsy uh, so again you got to be careful with that one i've also ordered one more budget oriented uh, sound bar uh, from flipkart this is the uh, what do you say block point and i got this and again on the deal just for about 6100 uh, but this one actually comes with a external subwoofer so when i get it i'll also be testing that so again stay tuned to my channel but overall i was uh, i would say uh, I'm impressed with this soundbar in terms of the clarity and definitely even for my Samsung QLED 65 inch expensive television it improved the sound quality drastically. Uh, so yeah it's a good soundbar I would say but not for bass lovers and if I have to rate it I would rate this one 8 out of uh, 10. So again guys uh, that's it for now for uh, this video again stay tuned to my channel I've ordered a couple of uh, soundbars also uh, so we'll be posting their videos in the next couple of weeks so again if you aren't subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button. So guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video take care guys.